Now, the Catholic Relief Services, CRS, in collaboration with the Foundation for Justice, Development, and Peace, FJDP, has executed project and provided financial empowerment to 200 internally displaced persons across Bajimba and Daudu community in Goma local government area of Benue State. The beneficiaries included persons with special needs, widows, female heads of households, pregnant and lactating mothers, and those with chronic illnesses. The project commissioned at the ceremony included the installation of boreholes, street light, and toilets, among other infrastructure. Speaking at the event, CRS country representative Akim Kikonde said the organization had committed resources to undertake this project, which aimed to help IDP sustain their lives. Overall, the project, with all the components, did not cost us more than 30,000 US dollars. We're talking about providing clean water, providing lights to prevent gender-based violence, to prevent uh, deaths due to snake bites and those kind of things. We have also provided some cash to uh, IDPs so that they can uh, sustain themselves and their family. The lives of these people it's terrible. It's not been easy for them. They have lived in these conditions for many, many years. And they were praying and hoping that those government power will be able to facilitate their return to their ancestral homes so that they don't have to depend on charity like this. So we're thankful to God. We're thankful to the donors. And we, it is our hope that we'll have more resources to meet the, some of their requests. Reverend Father Moses Ayo. Ayurapu, the com Director of Communications for the Catholic Diocese of Makodi, stated that the diocese gesture was intended to protect the dignity of the displaced persons. He also expressed hope that the government will facilitate the return of the IDPs to their homes. One of the beneficiaries, Barnabas Nita, expressed gratitude to the faith-based organization for the items. We are coming here to do this, not that we are very proud that we are giving this kind of facility, providing this facility for the eternally displaced persons. We are able to do what we can do uh, to give them a reason to live and to protect their dignity as human beings. And we hope that the government will become deeply involved as well so that these people will be able to return to their ancestral homes. And where it is not possible, we provide them with the facilities that they need uh, to live dignified lives. We appreciate you so much. Ways enough cannot say two days back we received a sum of 50,000 some, 30,000, and some 20,000. We also appreciate you for your effort. I want to let you know that the work, the effort that the Reverend Father Arimujus Hura is doing with us is more than the government work. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.